What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. So, haven't really uploaded all day. I've been busy cleaning some carpets. I had to do my kids' room. And uh, the hallway over there. Anyway, my new deck of cards came in. So, I've been waiting on these because I kind of wore these out here. But I'm still going to use them. I love these cards. But anyway, I found some pink cards. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Anyway, and I bought the new mat for my desk. So hopefully it won't be as noisy like when I, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. But anyway, enough of the chitty chat. Let's go on and start and see what is happening for Scorpio. Give me three cards for Scorpio at this time. I probably should have let these sit under a crystal for a little while, but I want to use them. What's going on with Scorpio? Oh, the tower. What the hell? Okay. So there could be some sort of sudden change, upheaval, eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um, that's going on in the energy right now. Somebody could be awakening to something or some sort of release is happening here. Why? Ooh, four of cups, because somebody could be getting rejected with the four of cups energy. Somebody could be getting rejected or feeling rejected. Wait a minute, y'all. Somebody could be getting rejected or feeling rejected. Okay. Uh. So there's about to be a tire moment because somebody is not seeing something, not seeing an offer. Maybe they're bored with it or uh, they're just disconnected from something or someone here with this Four of Cups energy. It's going to be very unexpected here with this tower and the Four of Cups. Very unexpected when it comes in. And can I have another one, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio? Ooh, child. Ace of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Wands. And the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Well, my, 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 my. So, whatever this passionate new beginning is that somebody's manifesting for the future here, somebody could be rejecting one thing or, you know, not looking at one thing in order to have this new passionate beginning here. This Empress energy. There's an Empress here. Now you could be the Empress, or somebody's going coming towards or going towards this Empress energy. There is a new beginning, but somebody may have to reject someone or something before they can go towards this new beginning. But it's something that somebody's manifesting. Somebody may need to take action towards it. Okay. Um, gain clarity in a situation, or somebody's needing clarity in a situation in order to prepare for the future. Or in order to expand in some sort of way or go towards an opportunity. But I'm seeing somebody has the power with the Empress at the bottom of the deck. The Empress does represent like creativity, um, fertility, abundance. Um, this is a good parent as well. Somebody, you know, with good parenting. Evolution, growth, development in something or someone. What the? Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. So somebody is fruitful, very fruitful. Look at there. Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody's very fruitful, okay? Gaining some sort of money, celebrating here, rejoicing, friendships, collaboration. Ten of Pentacles energy is wealth, security, long-term success, finance. And my goodness, King of Pentacles at the top of the deck. What the heck is going on? What is going on? <laughs> I was not expecting that. So let's see. What is this um, tower about then? What's the tower? With the sudden change, unexpected upheaval, some sort of chaos. With this tower energy. Some sort of sudden insight. What's the tower about? Home. This has to do with the home. Stability. Uh, property or residence. Something could be happening in a home. This could be, you know, something with someone in a home. Beauty queen. Shining on stage. Adored. Somebody could work from home. So something could be happening at work. Unexpected. Coming out of nowhere. Okay. With the tower and the home card. Whoa. Some sort of chaos could be happening here. Why is that though? I don't even want to read the card. Why is this chaos happening with this home energy? This could be somebody that works from home. You could work from home or somebody's building something from home. This could also be somebody coming to visit. Okay, it's unexpected, wasn't seen. Uh, maybe somebody pops up over your house and you're not expecting it. Like, what? Who? You didn't call before you came? What's the tower with the home card? Child. What's the tower with the home card? 
creeping in reverse. So this is somebody that you're aware of, low IQ. This could be somebody that's very low vibrational energy. Bottom of the deck, crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. This person could be in their feelings, in their emotions here. Why am I feeling like somebody's just going to be popping up over you, over at your crib or your house or something? Oh my gosh. Or there's some drama or something that's going on. We have Queen Rising, Stepping Into Power, Praise coming up in Spotlight. This could have something to do with you coming up or have some, some sort of spotlight or growth, okay? Family issues. This could be family members, impersonator, wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, copies you. This could be like an impersonator type of energy, shine, your light irritates their demons. They don't like the way that you shine. So like, say you work from home or something like that. You could have some family that's coming over disrupting you or... Your girl went to Starbucks. Some Okay, some of y'all could have bought a home. Congratulations. Maybe it was out of nowhere. And um, you could have a lot of people pop up at your house. But I feel like these are low vibing people. Family members that you've had issues with. Maybe it's like somebody surprises you and you're like, um, I didn't invite you over. I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the what's the um what's the hidden emotions here with this? Why is it so unexpected? It, this could also be like somebody comes over and like a family members could be fighting or like arguing or something. Be careful of that. Maybe you're like the life of the party or something like that. Or what's the tower? What's the hidden emotions here? Apology, forgiveness, return, and sorry. Somebody could be coming back to apologize. Return, second chance, opportunity, making amends. Okay, so I see somebody coming back around. They want to apologize to you. Uh, they they see you shining, doing your thing. You're adored. You're being looked up to. You're being admired, right? This is somebody who wants to be like you. They want to be in the spot like you, or they want the attention like you have, or they want what you have. This could be somebody that you had issues with in regards to family or some, uh, uh, child, but this person they want to make amends with you they want to come back for yeah withdrawn single lonely solitary and breaking point this person you could have withdrew from this person or this person withdrew from you but final straw overwhelmed and hoping expecting faith manifesting but it's like this is giving me the energy of like somebody's ready to come towards you and apologize or be around you or in your energy because you've kind of stood your ground on something or you've stepped in your power in regards to something here. And somebody wants to come back and apologize to you. Maybe they were just creeping around or, you know, maybe they were creeping around, out there creeping around, you know, being in low vibrational energy. And then they realize that you are, you are home. What's the four of cups? But I see somebody rejecting somebody. So what's the four of cups for Scorpio? What's the four of cups about for Scorpio? Destiny, luck, chance, meant to be. Uh, this person may feel like y'all are meant to be, and you're like, well, nope. Okay, let me think about it. Work, profession, college, workplace. Some of y'all are working. You're focused on your work. You're focused on your stability. Some of y'all are really focused on your money. Some of y'all could be dyeing your hair or changing your hair color. Uh, there could be something significant. Young female here, too. Okay, two feminines. There could be a blonde female or a young female that's of significance. Maybe y'all are working and collaborating together. Or maybe these two people want to work and collaborate with you um, in regards to wealth, luck, and money or something like that. I just heard I work alone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I work alone. It was in a, a deep voice. I work alone. Okay. I see you rejecting somebody. Somebody feels like y'all were destined or meant to be or like meant to work together or meant to be together. But you could be like looking, somebody's um, either looking at other missed opportunities that didn't come in their way and not really paying attention to the cup that's being offered by the divine. Um, this is a, a, a lucky opportunity. What's the, what's the four cups though? Or what's uh, haunted? Yeah, somebody's stuck in the past. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. 
somebody is stuck in the past so they don't see this new opportunity coming towards them with this uh four cups energy so somebody's kind of just sitting there waiting or there's some time here that's having to somebody's waiting okay Mary slash Rex trauma side effects yeah lonely somebody's waiting and this is making somebody else feel lonely somebody feels like they're having to wait okay it's like it's like somebody feels like oh my gosh we're meant to be we're meant to be together but somebody's so stuck on the past like what happened in the past that they're not even seeing not even being in the present moment in some sort of way Ego, and it could be due to ego, okay? Somebody could be stuck in their ego or their ego was hurt in some sort of way and somebody needs to let that go. And let it go, let it go, hustling. Megan and Rain, focus on money, getting it. You know what this is giving me? This is giving me like somebody's supposed to be sitting down, relaxing, enjoying the company, and then somebody's stuck on like, dang, I missed out on that money, or dang, I missed out on that opportunity. I could have made money right then, or... You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody's thinking, like, dang, like, if I would have did this, then I could have had this money. You know, if I would have did this, I could have had that money. <laughs> Instead of living in the current moment. We have cyber bully. You are being bullied online, or they are, has suffered from it. Yeah, but somebody is suffering here. Groupie. Somebody could be dealing with, like, people that's, like, bullying them. You know what I'm saying? Girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war and competing. Somebody could have like like bully, been bullying somebody or like, you know, dragging their name online and stuff like that. And so somebody's like really stuck in the past because it was a lot of trauma here. A lot of trauma. So somebody could be discussing that, okay, instead of living in the moment or... Regardless, I see somebody feelings hurt. Too busy winning. Somebody could be more focused on like an argument. Yeah, extra triggered. My goodness. Somebody could have got triggered by somebody else winning or somebody else getting something. They feel like I missed out on that or I didn't get that. What's four cups with the destiny? Somebody feels like something was meant for them, but they didn't get it. It was a missed opportunity. So they're looking at that instead of seeing that brand new opportunity here with this cup elusive dishonesty deception and trickery yeah there could have been some lies there somebody could have got lied to and it made them miss out on an opportunity perspective better off happiness clear head space somebody needs to look at the glasses half full instead of half empty like okay that didn't work out so it's okay it didn't work out for a reason and that's okay you know even if it did hurt your ego or something like that it's okay that it didn't work out because this person, they were dishonest anyway. They were it, it was a lot of trickery here. You couldn't really see through the illusions or you couldn't see through something. Somebody stuck on somebody being uh, deceptive to them. Spying social network information and ways. And then running, ghost and disappearing and invisible. Somebody stuck on the past. Somebody could have been spying on them or okay, looking online or something like that. Somebody been... Sorry, lost grief and depression. Yeah, it's it's like somebody's stuck on sadness. On the shoulda, coulda, woulda. Instead of, what are we doing right now? I don't know. It's like, it's like an opportunity, an offer from the divine is coming in. But somebody, so their mind is like stuck in the past in some sort of way. So I see, I do see a new beginning though with the Ace of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Wands. And this, going to, this is going to allow somebody to manifest um, a new beginning, okay? New opportunities. Uh, this could be like a new project, a desire, potential, new beginning, um, growth in some sort of way with the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning as well. <clears throat> um, let's see here. What's going on with this Ace of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Wands? Communication, texting, phone calls, online, and control at the bottom of the deck. Releasing, taking back power, kinky in the bedroom. All then children dark mail past life knowing deja vu past love be careful of pregnancy because somebody could end up being pregnant okay with the ace of wands magician three of wands um with that new passion that stick there and that magician <clears throat> i see some sort of communicate there's some sort of communication coming in towards you scorpio 
And this is going to, you've been manifesting this. I don't know if you've been manifesting communication from somebody or you've been manifesting something to like, maybe you've been preparing for this. It's like you're taking back control here in some sort of way. So it's like you're preparing for this, for the future, or you're getting ready. What the heck is this? What's the Ace of Wands with the Magician and the Three of Wands? What's the Ace of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Wands? Bad reputation. Well, I didn't expect that. Dodging bullets. Okay. So there could be a situation, yeah, where somebody tried to, or you may know that somebody may try to ruin your reputation or like try to cause some sort of issues here. So it's like you're 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 dodging it. Head in the clouds waiting. Yeah, you're dodging it so that you don't even have to deal with it here. Or, or like, it's like thief. Rob lost stuff, physical or emotional. Broke ass at the bottom of the deck. What? Some, is somebody trying to ruin your reputation? You have a new beginning coming. You've been manifesting this. I mean, you're going to, you have foresight that you're you're about to, y'all are predicting something too. You know that going forward, you're about to expand. You're about to have some sort of expansion and you've been manifesting this. This is a brand new beginning for you, Ace of Wands. But with this bad reputation of thief, it's like, you know, I don't know if you know that somebody's going to communicate this to you. Like, yeah. Ooh, creativity much and broke ass. Like, it's like, I know this person's going to try to come towards me because my ship's coming in. Or um, some of y'all, make sure you don't tell everybody what you're doing in the future. Try to stay quiet because if not, you know, you're going to attract... People to like either try to ruin your reputation because of this forward movement or like steal from you or take from you in some sort of way. So be careful of who you talk to, what you put online, okay, as well. Uh, moving forward. What's the Ace of Wands with the Magician and the Three of Wands? Just be careful what you say, how you say it. Stalk or stalking, watching and obsessed because people are, are, yeah, they're watching you. On how you're moving forward or things that are happening. These are karmic friends. These are people around you that they don't want to see you win. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. These are people that are, that are actually in competition with you. They see your ships getting ready to come in. Things that you've been manifesting are about to happen for you. And it's like they're watching. Like this is somebody sitting back um, pocket watching. Watching what you post online. Watching what you say. And you just, you got to be careful because somebody could try to, you know, ruin your plans. Like, this is like saying you put online that you got a new job, right? Somebody finds out where you work at and then they call up there and try to, you know, get you fired. Just because you got a new job, you know? What's this Ace of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Wands? This could be somebody that wants to be back with you or wants to be back in your energy in some sort of way. But you could be ignoring this person. Forcer, forcing things on you, force their way in, uses force to get what they want. But this, they're not, I don't, child, I don't like that. Dust it off, ain't shit. Talking shit. Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Why are people in your business like this? These are like ancient energies. These are people that they don't really have nothing going for themselves. They talk a whole lot of shit. But they looking you up to see what you got going because they want to be in your business. What you got, what Scorpio got coming in? What Scorpio doing? Where Scorpio at? What's, this is what this is here. Like, is Scorpio coming? Is this da, 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 da? So just be careful what you post and say and stuff like that because you got people watching you. Like, damn. What's the Ace of Wands with the Magician and the Three of Wands, child? What's the energy? What's the feelings? What is all that for? beginnings try again new direction start over because some of y'all are starting over okay y'all some of y'all could be going in a new direction yeah shallow hollow empty boredom what it is is like y'all are moving in a different direction because maybe y'all been dealing with somebody that's very shallow they may not really want anything out of life or you know they don't really see themselves going anywhere yeah sorrow 
loss, grief, depression. These people are like stuck in sadness and stuff like that. Lusting, forbidden, non-committal sexual energy, releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. Some of y'all been dealing with a person that don't even want anything more than sex. Like this is somebody that's just lusting after you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all are making peace, balance, harmony, and friendship. A lot of y'all are making peace with this and you're just moving on. Like you're trying to avoid this person or avoid this energy because you're you're having a new beginning you're having a new start so yeah if this is a person i don't really see you communicating much with this person you know you don't really don't tell them all your business okay uh, i see you just kind of ignoring this person this person's obsessed and watching you though that's a crazy thing let's see any other messages for scorpio any other messages for Scorpio? We have the initial you coming out. So you is in unique. That could be the first, middle, or last name for somebody. What's going on with Scorpio? Whoa. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio energy. All right. Leave it right there. Bottom of the deck, E. Somebody's name could start with E. Somebody could drive a truck or a Jeep. We have V, C, U, V, C. <laughs> Somebody could have dreads or braids. March could be a significant. Oh, this is March. <laughs> Last March or this March, S, Libra. Somebody could be in their 20s and 30s. Gemini, Cancer, T, April, G. May could be significant. P, P. Somebody could drive a Lexus, Bentley, BMW, and D, and then T. I just heard Dante, Tracy, Tabitha, Sade, Greg. Polly, Paulette, Demetrius, Dante. They keep saying Dante, too. So we have P, P, P is in Paul, P is in Paulette, T is in Tom, T is in Tank, D is in David, C is in Kathy, V is in Victor, U is in Unique, G as in Gail, S as in Samantha. March, trucker, jeep, dreads, or braids, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, May. Somebody could be in their 20s and 30s, April. Somebody could drive a Lexus, Bentley, or BMW. And the initial E could be of significance. So I'm going to leave it there. Hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.